Hey, good morning, my lovelies. This is Tuesday morning, so it's time for our Timeless Tarot. Um, going to be an interesting week. Actually, going to be a very interesting week uh, before we get into the cards. So I kind of have the intention of doing this around um, this first quarter moon. It's something I've kind of been thinking about. We just had a really impressive new moon that happened earlier in Cancer. So I kind of wanted to continue to see how these cycles are working through us. We are now officially in Leo season. I will be filming the Leo season readings uh, right after this, so expect those to start coming up probably later today, tomorrow, all that fun stuff. Um, but with this week, we just entered shadow period for Mars retrograde. I want to say in like two days, a day or two, something like that. Uh, we will officially be leaving Venus retrograde shadow period. Um, it's already direct, uh, it's just not at full speed. But very soon, like literally, I think it's like two days or one day, something like that. Um, so lots of shifting, but really the big thing, you know, if there was ever a moment for you to shine, if there was ever a moment to put your authentic self out, it is right now. Because with these two planets kind of shifting, one leaving retro, one going into retro, or at least the retro zone at, at the very least, um, you are really being forced to have integrity and to walk your walk you know, it's not just about, I'm going to do this, I should do that, I'm aware of this. You know, it's really, like, you know, walking your walk, like putting your money where your mouth is. Like, that's really what this week is about. Um, as we finish up Venus Retrograde, this is your final test. Like, this is where Venus is like, okay, you have one day left to learn whatever I needed to teach you. You know, so come tomorrow. If you've learned it, or you know, whenever we're back to full speed, then I get to give you rewards. Then you get, then you get the certificate for passing the test. If you're still hemming and hawing on it, and you can't, you know, own up to the things you've seen, or you continue to turn a blind eye, then you don't get the rewards, right? So that you have that kind of energy ramping up. Then you have Mars starting to go retro, which again is going to force you within and have you question some things. So again, wherever Mars is in your chart, definitely a good thing to question. I believe Mars is in Aries right now. So it'll be, I think it's in Aries when it goes retro and then starts to go back. Um, if I am, if I am, if I'm correct, I might be wrong. Um, you, one day I'll look these things up before I turn the camera on. Um, but definitely good to know where your Mars is. Definitely good to know where Aries is in your chart because that's probably where things are gonna get a shakeup. All right, so. But like I said, I really wanted to do this, so that's kind of, that's kind of what's going on this week. Plus we have this new, um, not new, first quarter moon uh, that's really helping to continue this growth and this kind of internal push. But it's really about what, what do you have to do for you? What are you passionate about? What do you care about? And again, doing those things with integrity. You, it's not about phoning it in anymore. So I want to pull a couple of... Um, the Moonology cards, again, because we're talking about moon cycles, or just cycles in general. Oh, dang, a lot came out. So you may resonate with all of them, you may resonate with one of them. We've got, we've got a good amount here, so it may not be all of them, but for sure, at least one of them. Um, oh, and House Rules, this is a timeless general reading for all signs, so only take what resonates. If there's bits that don't make sense to your situation, then we've got six. Um, leave that on the table that's meant for someone else. Only take what resonates. All right, my lovelies. So we've got new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Yes, it totally is. And again, we were talking about integrity. It's all about that belief. So if it's something that's important to you, it's something that you believe in, do it wholeheartedly, right? Be confident in it. You know, know your stuff. And if you don't, do your research, do your homework. And then we have waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum, which we are in a waxing moon, so this is true. Things are starting to ramp up as the full moon, you know, gets closer and closer. The moon starts to get bigger. More energy is pulling. The gravitational pull is stronger. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Yes, you are. That's why you should be confident. Conclusions are within reach. Yes, we already know. We already know this new moon is helping to call it quits to all of those things. We know that's coming. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Yes. So still a little reflective, right, with that energy. Part of that, especially for me, what we're kind of going through with this week, a lot of that is, again, making sure you learn the lessons. Make sure you're committed. 
to the things that came up during the past like five, six, seven retrogrades we're, we're finally heading out of. Still not done with them because we still got some more coming in. We always will. You know, that's just a constantly revolving door. But this is really making sure you're owning all of those things you've learned and those things you've experienced. You know, whether they were good or bad. Own the good stuff because that was showing it away. Own the bad stuff because that was pushing you away from the things that weren't serving you. So whatever your journey has been the past couple months or even this whole 2020, own all of it because none of it was bad. It was all there to help you, to push you, to lift you higher. So whether it sucked or not, doesn't matter. It was all a blessing. Remember, we can always shift that energy through gratitude. You know, thank you for this moment to make me aware of. Thank you for this test that made me stronger. Thank you for helping me realize I can do more. I deserve better. Fill in the blank however you need to. Then we also have a new romantic cycle. New moon in Libra. Love that. That has been a big... I need to do maybe next week's. Next week will just be a love reading, I think. Because this has been coming up a lot. This new romance, this new romantic cycle. So lots of new relationships coming in. And... You know, this is a romantic cycle, so it doesn't even have to be a new partner, but the connection between you and your, your existing partner is going to improve and change and evolve. So lots, lots of good stuff. The big thing is, you know, kind of know that all of this has been in your favor. Know that there's energy supporting you. Even know that there's people to support you around you, right? But the key to it is owning it. I mean, we started this with confidence is your key right? And then know the energy is building, know that you're capable, right? The end is near, new is beginning, right? And then the meditate and contemplate, again, if you're still a little shaky, connect with spirit, get out in nature, right? Whatever centers you and grounds you helps to turn all that, that weird funky chatter in your brain off. And I don't want to shuffle this. I want to cut it. All right. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, no. I don't know why that was so startling. <laughs> that was my morning... That was my morning tarot coffee. <laughs> this is my slap awake. All right, why the, the top card? All right, nice. So first card, King of Wands. Beautiful energy, and then we also have the Page of Pentacles. All right. You know what's so funny? Good cards, but I'm I like what I'm getting off of that. What what I'm getting off of them. Here's this King of Wands, powerful manifester, confident, charismatic, attractive, right, powerful. Again, all the energies we were just talking about. This is this is who we are. This is this is the potential we have within us that we're that we are already tapped into for the most of us. And it's like we are the King of Wands, yet we're dealing, we're dealing, you know, with this Page of Pentacles level. Right? So it's like we have all of this mastery here right with this king of wands yet for some reason we're, we're functioning like this page which is about growth and potential right you know that's it's um it's my dirt card so it's the seed that's growing it's a seed that's planted but you're beyond that you're beyond that like literally i feel like this is a king in a page's clothing don't like that's Let's own, let's really own that we're a king, right? It's not a bad thing. It's nothing to be ashamed of. That's a wonderful thing. You're so much stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. So much stronger than what you're giving yourself credit for. And it's really time to own it. Maybe at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of all these retro periods, maybe you were a page. You have been tested. You have been put through the ringer. You have put through the fire and you didn't give up. You didn't crumble. You didn't just roll over and die right? You've proved you could push beyond it. You've proved and you've picked up the skills needed to survive and earn your place on this throne, right? This is where you deserve to sit. You're not, you're not in the fields carrying this weight around. 
right? Waiting for, waiting for the chance to step up, waiting for the opportunity to grow. No, baby, you had that opportunity and you took it, right? You've been through it already. So own that. You're not in the same place you were a couple months ago. Oh, all right. Didn't, didn't miss a beat with that one. No. Okay. I'm excited to see what this, yes. What did I tell you? All right. So we've got the Fool and the Six of Cups in reverse. So this Fool, exactly what we talked about, this brand new beginning. So this could be this new relationship. For the most part, this is just the new you, the kind of releasing of the old self. Six of Cups, all about the past, right? You know, and sometimes, <clears throat> sorry, garbage truck going by. Um, sometimes this Six of Cups, it's kind of like looking at things with rose-colored glasses and having the nostalgia glasses on, having the nostalgia lens. Thank y'all. You know, remembering things better than they were or not seeing the, the rougher parts of the past. And be like, oh, I just, I wish things were simpler. I wish we could go back to blah da 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 <clears throat> da Excuse me. That's what, that's where this is coming in. Right? We're remembering the simpler times better than they were. And we're so focused on what was that we're not even seeing what is. Because what is, is so much better. What is, is so much better, so much bigger. Right? Look, bottom of the deck right now is the chariot card. So moving forward, success. I'm taking that puppy. Yes. And even underneath that, Seven of Wands, independence, doing things your own way, right? There's this shakeup with the Six of Wands. You know, and I would even almost argue, I'm just putting this so I can see them all. This particular deck shows the Seven of Wands as a conqueror, right? The other Six of Wands aren't pointing at him. They're not in anyone's hand directed towards him. He's standing on top of them. He's bested all of these external opinions all the naysayers that had their, you know, two cents to put in, that he was like, you know what? I don't give a hoot. Don't give a hoot. Like, this is my life. I'm doing it my way. And you can even see his, his wand is the most powerful. All of these are just dried up branches. You can see his is starting to flower. Well, has leaves, whatever. But you know, his is growing, his is expanding, his is teeming with life, right? I mean, do we see any sim- oh, I can't hold it that way. Hold on. Do we see any similarities in their ones? Both of them are like that. Right? This was you through the process, right? When your wand really started to flourish and your strength you started to ramp up as your wisdom grew, and then here we are now. Here we are now. Fully evolved. Well, let's not say fully. We're never really fully evolved, right? There's always growth that can happen. but. You know, we've conquered the lessons that were right in front of us. We're not still trying to figure that out. There's no need to go through another test. Like, you know what you need to know. Now, you have to walk the walk. Whoa. Okay, that was just me being clumsy. Oh, someone fell on the ground. Where are you? There you are. take those because judgment was in the deck earlier look at that bottom of the deck empress creation life creativity abundance fertility this is this is the place where we're now able to create abundant and full of life all right let's start with these two yes all right so we've got the seven of swords along with the star card. Lo you gotta love, you gotta love when the star card shows up. Now, this Seven of Swords, I've seen in a couple of readings, at least in personal readings. Well, not personal for me, but readings I've done for others off camera. Um, and I've recently, it's been showing up, especially for me, more as the inner saboteur. Yes, this card has deceit, 
mischief, betrayal, lying, all that kind of stuff in there. So some of you, that may resonate. I think for majority, this Seven of Swords is really self-manipulation. It's that self-saboteur that is trying to tell you you're not the king, right? You're not, you're not the king. You're not that strong. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That's not you. You're this. I need you to struggle a little bit more. I need you to stay in this place and just toil away because you can't you can't run this this nation you can't run this kingdom no there's no way no boo boo I, i'm telling you you can you sure can right and that's where this star comes in right so there's those doubts those fears that little voice inside of you that just nags you and tells you you can't do it the star is telling you to be hopeful expect better right expect miracles this is that, that little tiny beacon, that little light in the darkness that is leading you, leading you home, leading you back to where you belong, right? And where you belong here with this judgment card, this is your calling, this is your purpose, this is that revival. So again, we've gone through the ringer, we have the full card here. Judgment is all about that rebirth and rising above, right? You can even kind of see, it's like, oh my God, you've been burned, you've been thrown in the fire. You've just been boiling this whole time, like literally, literally like your skin is on fire. And then it's like, then this magic moment happens where you get hit with this elixir and you're just reborn. Just reborn, like tempered in the flames. Literally tempered in the flame, flames. Like you're being like anointed with that, that little magic potion that just whips it all together. We have the Knight of Cups here. To me, this Knight of Cups is really going to resonate with those of you who have this new romance coming in. This is someone bringing in an, an emotional offering. This is communication of love, of feelings, right? So maybe for some, it's an apology coming from you know a current lover, and we've just been having a moment and going through some growing pains. Or again, this is a new person coming in, ready to commit, ready to speak their mind, ready to just say something, right? Side note, huge Kylie fan. I've been listening to her song, Say Something, from her new album that's coming out later this year. Obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. If you haven't heard it, oh my God, go check it out. Uh, <laughs> that has been my jam. Literally, I'm like humming it. I'm like, yeah, wherever you are, wherever you are, just say something. Say something. I'm fucking ready. Say something. <laughs> All right, you have your judgment card. And then Knight of Pentacles. Great. Nice. A little slow. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little slow. But this is forward movement, right? Knight of Pentacles is always advancing. He's smart. He's practical. I would almost kind of argue he's also tactical because he's only taking steps he knows move him forward. He knows are correct. He knows will get him to where he wants to go. So in that falling under the chariot, you know, with the Seven of Wands, the chart has already been mapped out. The path has already been laid before you, right? Now it's just about being smart and taking those actions, taking those steps. I feel like it's not done yet. There's something else that wants to come out. Okay. Let's see. We do one last little round. Is that it? Oh, hey, 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 there we go. Tower card. All right. You couldn't make it easy. Yeah, let's clarify this tower. So what is this tower? Because for most of us, I'm pretty sure we've gone through this tower. This has already happened. I see you down there. <laughs> I love it. All right. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. This is that new beginning. This is that offer. This is that abundance. That's whatever it is you've been manifesting coming into the 3D. So this Tower of Wands... Tower of Wands. This tower, we have the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, beautiful, and then we have the Ace of Wands. And I love this Ace because I, I mean, I get it. It's like there's like a sunrise behind it, but I just it always gives me this idea like the the wand is like bursting out, like it's busting out from behind the clouds and pushing its way through. So to me, again, that also tells me I feel like this tower moment has already passed for most of us. Now maybe it's not over like maybe we're maybe we're still kind of clearing out some rubble right if we've got a little more processing to do but the actual moment the hit has already happened right 
So this burden that we see here with this Ten of Wands, that was us shifting to the rubble, letting that wall fall and just being willing to surrender and accept like, okay, this is meant to fall, let it fall. It's fine. It sucks. I'm not super thrilled about it. Not enjoying this. Not enjoying this. But again, it's that it's that push out of the comfort zone that kind of forces you, okay, I'm not, I'm not a fan. This feels heavy. This feels gross. This feels, maybe it even felt unnecessary. You're like, why am I going through this? Why am I having to deal with this? And I say unnecessary because like here you can see this guy is carrying these 10, 10 wands. So dumb. Can't even see. He has a cart. Obviously the cart's broken. But right, could we not fix the cart and make this easier on ourselves? We're just, okay, let me just... Let me just chug along as I, as he's dropping wands behind him also, you know what I mean? Like, so it can't feel unnecessary, it can't feel silly, it can't feel pointless. But then we have this high priestess, right? This is that, that point where we had to go within and learn the lessons, right? She always, she has that scroll full of secrets that she's willing to share with you, but you do have to meet her in that sacred space. And where is that space? Inside of you, in your intuition, connecting with your higher self. That's where she can, you know, lay down the secrets and let you know what it is you were trying to figure out. And that's why this, this ace just kind of busting through the clouds. It's like, this is the clarity. This was, this was the result of going and doing this inner work here with the high priestess after the tower fell, after all the crumbling. This is the reward. This is what you're gifted with. And then same thing for bottom of the deck, right? So you're gifted with the knowledge of what to do, and here you are doing it, again, walking your walk, because the suit of wands is all about action, right? It's all about action. So this is you taking the steps, and then this is the reward coming, right? So all you have to do is prove you're ready for it, and it will be delivered, right? That's, that's the whole, that's the whole thing about it. Oh, wrong ace. Actually, you know, it's right. we're just going to, we're going to keep them both, all right? So, Again, yes, you've been through a rough time. We all have on, on multiple levels as a collective, as an individual, through work, through family, through life, just, oh, been through it. But again, it was all to help you. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before, but it, you know, everything the universe does, it's done for you, not to you. And that's exactly what this moment was. This was a you know done for you moment to push you beyond, right? You had to go through the fire. It made you stronger. It tempered you, right? It tempered you. So now we're at this point where you have to fully own, because if you haven't realized it yet, I'm telling you right now, you have grown. You have evolved. Things are so much better now. I was going to say things are good, but there's so much beyond that. So if you're not seeing it in the 3D yet, which a lot of us probably aren't, and that may even be related to all these retros, right? Because you don't necessarily want all the new beginnings to come when everything's out of whack and everything's a little, a little slowed down and reversed in a way. But you've done what needed to be done through all of that. So whatever is coming, it's on its way. It is on its way. Because even look, we had what? Two full moons, three new moons, and a waxing moon, which is the phase we're in now, right? So we're on our way to this full moon. And all of these new moons are speaking to, you know, something fresh, something beginning, right? Oh, it's going to be good. But again, big thing. Both, you know, the message in the card from your guides, as well as, you know, what's being echoed above us in the planets with the astrology, you need to walk the walk. Like, know you're a king, right? And if you don't know you're a king, check in with yourself. Where were you a couple months ago? Where are you now? And I would also, if you reflected on what would the you then do differently than the you now? Because I guarantee you there was an evolution from you a couple months ago to you today, right? And that's this difference. I think a lot of us did jump from a page and in some levels are now sitting here as a king and we need to recognize that and we need to hold ourselves to that because we have proven we can do better. We can prove that we are above certain challenges in our life and we don't have to fall to the side. We don't have to crumble. Now, does that mean you may not need to take a break and have a little self-care moment? Of course not. Even kings need to recharge, right? But you're stronger now. 
you're stronger now. And I will say some of these roads may, may require you to walk alone for a little bit, right? Because we have the Seven of Wands, which is all about independence. We have this Fool. This is a private leap of faith. Like no one else can do it for you but you. So some of this may be done on your own. And that's fine. That is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Because again, this is, this is your rebirth, you know? When you're born, you do it alone. No one's there with you, right? Like, at least physically anyway. Like, this is your rebirth. So some of this you may have to walk on your own, and that's fine. Again, that's where the star card comes in. That's the guiding light. That's the beacon. Come towards me. Come towards me. That's fine if you've got to leave some people behind. Leave them behind. This isn't their journey. But I want you to come towards me, right? This is that light. This is that light guiding you home. Oh, such a... Oh, this was the best way to start my morning. I should do this every morning. I like this. <laughs> All right, my loves. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed it as always. Hit the like button if you're not already hit the subscribe join our little family so we can do this every week together um stay tuned for the uh august readings literally gonna i'll probably upload this bad boy just so it's up and ready to go and then i'll i'll rehook up my camera and get it all ready and i'll start filming august so those should be up soon hopefully i'll get a few i'll probably get the first few up tonight um but very exciting all right my loves i'm gonna let you go on that note um I think if you were early into this reading, I think I'm going to use the Moonology readings in the um, August readings just to kind of see this was a lot, a lot more general in the, the readings for the signs. I'll use these again so we can get them a little, little tighter focused, you know, on a smaller group of people versus the whole collective. So I think if you like these, you'll see them again in the August readings. Um, but yes, sending you my love. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I am wishing you the best, sending you my love, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye.